tropical storm Ian. the images just keep coming in including videos like this of a water rescue in naples florida firefighters waded through waist high waters to save this woman who was trapped in her car a firefighter actually broke open the back window of her vehicle bringing her to safety and that's just one of many water rescues being carried out by firefighters in Naples and across Florida as wind and rain just continues to rush in and the, you know those firefighters they're just doing their job and their chief Barbara Tripp from Tampa Bay Fire and Rescue knows all about that she is observing watching these rescues take place moment by moment as we speak right now you know Tampa chief was supposed to get hit uh, dead on by Ian until the storm made a last minute turn toward Fort Myers. Tell us what you specifically are dealing with in Tampa right now. Well, first and foremost, I want to uh, reach out to our uh, agencies down south and wish them the best. And our prayers are with um, all the individuals who was affected by Hurricane Ian. But currently here in the Tampa Bay area, uh, we've had minor wind damage. We've also had um, power outage. So we have over 200,000 customers without power right now. So we have some, um, our utility company in, the uh, city of Tampa, we have brought some additional servicemen down to assist with getting the power bike up. That is our biggest concern right now. So you're dealing with power outages and flooding. You know, the president, I don't know if you heard him speak uh, within the last hour, Chief, but he said that he is concerned about the early reports that he's hearing about what may be substantial loss of life. Are you getting any kind of intel, real life intel, about possible fatalities in your area or across the state? Currently, we don't have any fatalities or casualties that's been reported here in the Tampa Bay area, um, and we're not we're definitely uncertain about what about South Florida. Are you supporting other parts of Florida or just focused uh, on Tampa right now? So as we speak, we also have reached out to the state for some additional resources, meaning urban search and rescue, as well as some water rescue teams. And those uh, teams have been rerouted to assist with South Florida. Tampa, St. Pete, and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue is in the process of gathering some swift water teams together, as well as um, Florida Task Force teams to head down to assist with Naples and um, Volusia County, as well as uh, Fort Myers. Outstanding, because that those areas clearly were hit really hard. And, and what kind of calls are they receiving, uh, Chief, and, and how will your, your assets uh, help with those calls? So currently what we normally do is load up a team and they will go down and just report for orders. And it all depends on the mission specific. If it's more of a water rescue, then that's what my team will focus on, rescuing individuals from different areas, going house to house, um, going through the canals, using our equipment to be able to recover uh, individuals that may be trapped. And Tampa International Airport, we're told, is supposed to open tomorrow. Uh, that's good news. Uh, conditions are still dangerous, though. So what do you want people to know? We want people to know, even though uh, Tampa did not directly get hit, there are still a lot of uh, safety uh, situations they should uh, take into consideration. With down power lines, if they see lines that are down, do not touch them. They, they're not sure if the lines are energized or not, so they need to make sure they take precautions, as well as tree, tree limbs. You know, we have a lot of trees that has fallen, and we're in the process of having our emergency uh, response crew out to move those limbs out of traffic way. So we just want everyone to definitely uh, take precautions of, of all the hazards that they can be exposed to. Tampa Fire Chief Barbara Tripp, thank you, Chief, so much for uh, letting us uh, touch base with you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.